what's up guys it's osiris today i'm going to be showing you how a dsr works and i'm going to be showing you how to build your own dsr with channel routing and the peak controller in fl studio so let me just give you an overview of what we're going to do so easy so easy so easy so as you can see with this eq this eq is like the leasing signal in a dsr so we are collecting the signal we want to compress the signal we want to eq and we're passing it through a noise gate so anything that we don't want to eq so we just pass it through the noise gate so then everything else above the noise gate is cut off when it's played so easy so easy so easy so easy so this is where the compression happens this compresses it and this gives the instruction of the range to compress so let's build this so so easy okay so easy so easy so what you want to do now is just create a, an exact copy of the same audio and make the second one unique so easy Shit. then route both of them to the mixer so easy now we want to collect the signal we want to listen to the signal that we want to ds so put in an eq an eq let's see where the a signal is most prominent yeah so, so easy so easy so easy so easy so easy so easy so we can see the s signal is at around the um, 3000 to 13000 hertz so what we want to do is um high pass this and low pass this then bring this just bring the that high so easy 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 so so we're just trying to collect the S signal where the S signal play is more prominent. So that's basically what we're doing here. So we can see it's around this range. But there are still some frequencies playing that are not S frequencies. So what we want to do is put in a noise gate. So you can see the frequencies at the middle here then the s frequencies goes above the threshold so what you want to do is just cut the frequency around the middle there not too much it's just cut it So we'll put in a peak controller then on the original vocal we'll put in another eq then the frequency was around this range so we'll turn this off and put on the original vocal so easy so easy so easy so easy so so what we want to do is cut off frequency at this range we only want to cut it off in um, relation with the signal so when the signal is played 
that's when you cut off the frequency at this range so you link this to the peak controller and let's see what happens so easy so e so it's doing the exact opposite it's increasing signal at this range when getting information from this so what you want to do is turn the base up to the middle then just invert this so easy 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 so so easy so easy so easy so easy so easy so easy it's only when the s frequencies in this range is played in the vocals that's when this eqing happens so you have more controller over your dsn and so easy 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 very flexible so that's the basic routing to create a dsi in fl studio with um two eqs one noise gate and the p controller there are lots of possibilities you can achieve with the fruity peak controller and it's just for you to discover for you to understand how a particular plugin works then you should be able to build it yourself with other plugins with other base plugins like compressors eqs you should be able to create other plugins out of these plugins so easy so i'm going to be doing more tutorials on creating other plugins with routing and other every other plugin in fl studio so stay tuned for more videos i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something new don't forget to like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching and have a great day